What's going on you guys? Nick here with another video. If you haven't done so already, make sure you subscribe to my channel so that you can see updates to this video and see other videos about different things that I do. Uh, as the title suggests, today I'm going to show you how to set up a wireless network using PDA Net on your Windows computer. I believe the process is similar for Mac users, however, this is what I have access to today. And I'm also going to go ahead and apologize for the less than excellent microphone quality today. I'm working on my Windows 10 tablet, not on my desktop computer. Okay, so to get started, you first need to have PDA Net Plus installed on both your Android phone and your PC. I'm using my Galaxy Note 9 running Android 9.0 Pi, and that is the only two main requirements that you need to have. Um, and if you don't know how to install it or whatever, I have another video. I'll put a little card here so you can see it, and then I'll also put a link down in the description and in the pinned comment. Um, so that, that, so the next thing you need to do is plug your USB cable for your phone into your computer, and you'll hear it ding in just a second. There we go. Okay, swipe that away. You also need to have USB debugging enabled on your Android phone. That's also explained in the other video. This video is just designed to be quick and easy. All right, so once you've connected your computer, open up PDA Net on your phone and click USB Tether, and it will prompt you to connect to your computer. So I already have it running down in my system tray, but I'm going to show you. you just hit the Start button and type PDA Net Desktop right there. It will connect just like that. If it doesn't do that automatically, what you can do is right click on it and then where I have disconnect here, it will let you connect. All right, so now we are connected. So if I open up Firefox, you'll see, or you can see down here, it says we're connected to the PDA net broadband connection. And my tablet is much slower than my desktop. Oh good, Firefox is installing updates, fantastic. So we're just gonna forget about that. You're just gonna have to trust me that it works. The next thing we're going to do is right click again on PDA Net and we will click on Wi Fi Share Beta. Oh, there now Firefox is deciding to load. You can see I've already given myself my network name, Nickel Gandhi, and for my password, you have to have eight characters. So, just for the purposes of this video, it's eight ones, one, 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 one. And you click Activate, it will start your Wi Fi hotspot. And let's see. Now I'll pull up my iPad here and let's see if it shows. I don't see it yet, but it should pop up momentarily. Go away, Firefox notifications. Um, let's get rid of this stuff here. Where did it go? All right. Ah, now I see Nickel Gandhi. Excellent. So, yep, I am connected on my iPad. If I open up Firefox on my iPad, I can load whatever web page I had last. Looks like I was browsing digital trends to look at Galaxy Note 10 rumors. So that's basically it. I know this video isn't terribly detailed, but it's a pretty straightforward process once you have PDA Net installed. And then as always, to turn it off, you don't just want to shut down your computer or anything because PDA Net can be kind of finicky with that. You want to hit the Wi-Fi share, hit deactivate, wait for it to fully stop the connection sharing there it goes you get this notification hotspot turned off and then you right click on it again and you choose disconnect and that disconnects your phone then you can go back over to your phone and uncheck the box for usb tether and that's it and you don't have to use the usb tether you can use the wi-fi direct hotspot but you know anytime you use wireless over wired you're going to be slowing down your connection and if you're using sprints lte like in my case then you don't have a whole lot of speed to work with right from the get-go. The other benefit to USB tethering is it charges your phone while you go. And so this method works a lot better because with PDA Net, you can't connect like your Xbox or another laptop that doesn't have PDA Net installed. And then if you use this method, you can actually turn your computer into the wireless hotspot that you can then connect all these other devices to and share the internet connection. And it'll do routing with NAT and different things that you need to be able to access things, services like Xbox Live or PlayStation Network or whatever you may have. 
So that is it for this video. If you liked it, leave a like. If you run into trouble, leave a comment down below, and myself or somebody else will try and answer your question for you. If you have suggestions for other videos or you want help with other things, leave that in the comments section, and I will try and make a video about that as well. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.